Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a lesson on something called adjacent angles. Okay, um, so you're gonna take some notes with me on the first couple pages, and then there'll be some problems for you to try. And at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So what exactly are adjacent angles? Um, I want you to think of pizza when you think of adjacent angles. And for example, here we have two slices of pizza. All right. So I'm gonna actually draw a line, kind of showing one of the sides here, and then another side here. But if you notice, pizza one and pizza two, they share a side, which is the red line, right? Okay, that's a good example of an adjacent angle. Okay, so the definition of adjacent angles are two angles, two angles, that have a common side, and a common vertex and a common vertex all right so down here we have uh, angle A and angle B okay and let's see if they're adjacent or not well let's see they do share a side right here so this side right here they share okay and the vertex where all the angles meet is right here okay so angle A and angle B certainly are adjacent okay so again two angles that have a common side and have a common vertex are adjacent all right so if you turn the page let's take a look at these problems okay now we're going to write and solve equations uh, involving adjacent angles all right so the first one they want us to figure out the value of B okay so B is just this angle right here okay and angle B in 26 degrees add up to the 70 degrees all right so angle B and the 26 degrees those are the two adjacent so our equation is going to be B plus 26 degrees together add up to 70 degrees now we just got to solve by taking away 26 and when we do that we get B equals 54 degrees all right, this one over here is a little more complex. Um, again, we have two angles that are adjacent because they share a common side, right, and a vertex. And we know this angle here is 3n, and this angle here is 2n, and we know that together they're 110 degrees because it says angle COA, COA, the, the entire angle is 110 degrees. So we're going to add up 3n and 2n. And together it's going to equal 110 degrees. So 3n plus 2n equals 110 degrees. And now we can combine like terms. 3n and 2n is 5n. 5n equals 110. And then divide both sides by 5. And n is going to equal 22. And there's your solution. All right. So the big facts about adjacent angles, okay, they're, they're angles that share a side, okay, and share a common vertex, okay, and more times than not, they add up together to equal something. So here, it was B plus 26 equals 70, and here it was 3N plus 2N equals 110. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the uh, your turn problems now, and then when you're done, you can hit play and see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with this uh, adjacent angles problem, okay? So for this one, you know that angle ROP is 70 degrees. So that means the entire angle, the whole thing, is 70 degrees, okay? And we know that angle ROQ, so ROQ, this angle right here, we know is 2X plus 10. And we know that angle QOP, QOP, which is this one, is 4x and because we know that the angles are adjacent they're going to add up to 70 degrees okay so our equation is going to be 2x plus 10 plus 4x equals 70 all right now it's just a matter of, of uh, solving for x so 2x and 4x is 6x plus 10 equals 70 
I'm going to remove the constant, right? Take away 10, take away 10. So we get 6x equals 60. Divide by 6, divide by 6. And x equals 10. All right? Now, when given the chance, always plug it in to make sure it works, okay? So now that we know that x is 10, well, I can say 4 times 10 is 40 degrees, right? And then if x is 10 here, 2 times 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30 degrees. And look at that, 30 degrees plus 40 de degrees gives us our magical number of 70 degrees. All right, how'd you do?